Hey y'all, welcome back to A Dash of Gratitude. My name is Beth. In today's video, I'm going to bring you along with us as we checked out the Wagon Barn Market. It's a local spot about 30 minutes from our house. We'd never been before. And so we took a little trip, Brandon, myself, Serena, Robbie, and my mom. And we went out to see what it was all about. We'd heard some really good things about this shop and we were not disappointed. They had some absolutely beautiful products, really great um, flowers and pie fillings and fresh ingredients. And we were just really impressed. They had a whole cooler full of casseroles and meats and cheeses and foods that you could take to go. It was really great. We enjoyed our time out there, picked up some really good things. So I just thought I'd bring you along, let you browse through the store. After this, we went to Costco, and later in the video, I'll show you everything we picked up, and I even do a little bit of refrigerator cleaning and organization, so I hope you enjoy the video. If you are local to the Augusta, Georgia area, have you been to this shop? Like I said, we were really impressed. We loved the whole ingredients, like the whole food wholesomeness of this store. And check out this dessert cooler. I mean, we had a really difficult time picking. We wanted to get something to give it a try, and we did. We picked up a couple of items, but man, it was really difficult to choose. Everything looked so good, and the people who were in the store, who were working there, were so kind, so helpful. It was just an overall really nice experience. I am looking forward to returning to the market again, but especially in the summer season because they had a little bit of fresh produce, but it was not as abundant as I know that it will be in the summer. They had some potatoes and onions and some squash and cabbage but I'm really excited to go back in the summer and, uh, and check that out. Robbie loved the toy row, especially these bouncy egg balls down here on the bottom shelf. And I just, you know, I just loved looking around. I just loved it. Great spot. Oh, look at these out here. Those are pretty. 
Got aluminum foil. Got two bags of frozen hamburger patties. Tortilla chips. Got one block of this aged cheddar. Cheese sticks. Queso cheese dip. We're gonna make another round of arroz con pollo. Tomatoes. Sour cream. Got the cheese rounds with the baby bells. Stew beef. Got these gold potatoes. Ground beef, chicken breast, chicken breast chunks from Kirkland. These are really good. We'll pick these up for my mom. Fish sticks. Rabbit food. Oh my gosh. Green goddess chopped salad kit. Kill combos. This frozen veggie medley. This is such a good blend of vegetables and they cook up real good. Extra crispy fast food fries. Bell peppers. We had our favorite coffee on sale, so we picked up two of these. Thin spaghetti noodles. I got one of these for us to split up between Serena, Olivia, and I. The Sky High Maybelline New York Mascara. I'm gonna give that a try. Zevia Zero Sugar Soda. Bird seed. Wild bird food. I'm gonna get Vinny some more dog food. Free and clear laundry detergent. I was so excited about this. It's the bamboo organizer for garbage bags, trash bags, and it looks like it has a flat top. You can organize other things on top. Dishwashing tablets and bottle water. Our first trip back to Costco after the pantry challenge was a good one. We stocked up on things that we were out of and picked up a few new things too. And Sarita and I have a hair appointment coming up. So we got to get home, unload the car, and then zoom back out to do that. But we also picked up lunch. Um, what did everybody get for lunch today, Serena? I got uh, cheese pizza. Cheese pizza? Pepperoni pizza. Pepperoni pizza. Hot dog. I got a slice of cheese pizza too. Hot dog. Ooh. <laughs> So anyway, it was a good trip to Costco. It was really crowded in there. Anything uh, important about Costco we want to talk about today, anyone? They had more samples than usual. They did have really good samples. Oh, what was your favorite sample today? The, the pancake and Nutella. Pancake and Nutella. They had the Kodiak cakes with Nutella. I usually don't like either one of those things, but together it seemed like they worked pretty well. They were like little like silver dollar size pancakes. They were really good. Robbie, you like the spaghetti? I like them, the pancakes and the spaghetti. Yes. You know what I liked? Mm -hmm. I really liked the buffalo chicken and macaroni and cheese. I really liked the it chili It was so good. Oh, well. the chili was really good too. It's a beef chili. I mean, was there anything gross in there? They had some like a milk alternative on, on sample. I didn't try that. I didn't try it either. But my least favorite would probably be the spinach dip. Oh, the spinach dip? I thought that was good, too. I said least favorite. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's not my favorite. Yeah. You can yeah, be the, wrong. The pizza crust. It was good. It was... Oh, 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 the pizza crisps. Okay. It was some type of like a chip. It was like a pizza crisp chip. Um, they were not good. None of us liked them. Yeah, they were not the best. Anyway, we stopped. We just stopped in to get some gas here at Costco. Today at Costco, today is February 2nd. Oh, happy Groundhog Day, everyone. But anyway, today, February 2nd, Groundhog's Day here in Augusta, Georgia at Costco. Gas is $2.96. Too much. It's too high, y'all. Anyway, we stopped in to get some gas here at Costco. See you at hair salon. The hair salon? Oh, we'll bring you along to the hair salon. All right, we'll see you there. 
we're here outside of the salon and I just wanted to do a little before. What are you getting your done what are you getting done to your hair, Serena? I'm getting a little trim, a very healthy trim. I got some ends that need to be trimmed. So I'm very excited for that. Okay, and I think I'm gonna get a trim too. And I'm hoping that after today I'll have no more color tips on my roots. If you haven't noticed, I've been growing my hair out to my natural color, which has got lots of silver, but I do have a tiny bit of brown still left on there. So we'll see. I'm not sure really how much I've got left, but we're going to go see about it. All right, we are out of the salon and it is official, y'all. We searched and searched for old color on the tips and there's none. I'm officially all the way grown out to my natural color. It's so good. And Serena? I got a little trim. Yes. <laughs> got a trim and some toner. She's looking fresh and fabulous. My hair grows real nice. Real nice. Thank you, Alicia, for our awesome hair. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. So here's a look at the kitchen. We got back from Costco and then uh, Serena and I had to go and get our hair done. So we're back now and I asked Brandon not to unload every single thing that I wanted to clean out the refrigerator and then go from there. So anyway, we ran Roomba while we were gone and the floor looks pretty good and I'm ready to get the refrigerator clean. Here we go. Here is a before. And my battery is low, so I'm not gonna show you the during, but I will come back and show you maybe a midway and an after. All right, I got the refrigerator empty. I've still got to go through the door and I'm about to wipe down spray and wipe out the refrigerator. We've got Serena in here doing the dishes. And here is all the food from the fridge. What do you need in the car? I always use the Thieves household cleaner. How often do y'all spray and wipe out your refrigerator? I would say I probably do it every month and a half or so, give or take, but it always feels so good. And I love when I take the time to just get everything clean. Honestly, our refrigerator doesn't get that dirty. Um, you know, Brandon and myself and the kids, we're pretty, we're not really like messy people. So it's easy to maintain. And then just every now and then wipe it out really good but it always feels so fresh and clean i just love it so much and that thieves cleaner is pretty much the only cleaner i use in my house for the most part and it's it's our favorite i just love it so much it's from young living and if you have questions about it you can drop those down in the comments below i think you can order it off of amazon but it is a concentrate it comes in a concentrate and then you add it into your spray bottle and fill it up with water and it's just wonderful. I went through all the condiments and nothing is expired. It's all good. And it's all things that we are going to use. So it's good to go there. In the fridge, I got everything wiped out. I got the two drawers put back in. I'm gonna load back in. But I wanted to show you what we picked up from the Wagon Barn Market today. We picked up a portion of this chocolate symphony cake and we just thought it would be enough to enjoy as like our little family for dessert one night and not have a whole bunch of cake left over. So we picked that up as well as these sour cream lemon bars, which also look really good. And then they had these rolls on half off. They called them day old rolls. I want to say they were like a cornmeal yeast roll. I don't know. They sounded really good. So we're going to give those a try. 
And here's what else we picked up. We got this sampler set of the Dutch country seasonings, farm dust, barnyard grilling dust, smokehouse meat rub, stockyards trail dust. We thought this sounded pretty good and we do love to grill. And uh, so we're gonna give those a try. One of the reasons I wanted to go out there was I wanted to pick up some cornmeal. I was all out. So this is Friedman's Mill, old timey grown and milled sifted yellow cornmeal. So I like that. We picked up this chicken dipping sauce. We also got this bacon jam. Thought that sounded really good. Uh, we've been making popcorn in our air popper, and so we picked up this Amish Country Popcorn Ballpark Style Popcorn Salt Extra Buttery. Wow, that is quite the title. But uh, we are hoping that it will be good, and we don't eat popcorn that often, but we thought that would be a nice little treat to add on top. We got these monster cookies. The ingredients here are oatmeal, eggs, Sugar, butter, vanilla honey, peanut butter, soda, chocolate chips, and M&Ms. So we know those are going to be good. How could they not be? And then Serena and Robbie picked out these mini sour, mini gummy worms. We found this. They had like some personal care items and um, they had a few different varieties of soaps and things. And this poison ivy soap we picked up because... I am highly allergic to poison ivy and we have a lot on our property and I've gotten into it before without being aware of it until later, until it was much too late. So we got this to keep on hand just in case I come back into contact with that poison ivy. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's our haul from the Wagon Barn Market. We really enjoyed shopping out there. And now I'm going to load up the fridge. Something else we picked up from the market today are these, uh, this dozen eggs. It's Sauter's Eggs Family Farms. And y'all, I was reading this package. First of all, I think it's so, I love the label. It's certified humane, raised and handled. And then the way that it is worded on the carton, I just thought this was lovely. From hens who have the freedom to roam the hen house and behave naturally. You know, shouldn't all chickens be able to do that? I love supporting a company that that just does good. You know what I mean? So these look fantastic. I'm excited to give them a try. Alrighty then, we've got it all loaded back up. Nice clean fridge, fresh food to go. And I know it looks like it's not super full, but we have a lot of food in the freezers. And here is a lot of cheese, but we've got the Baby Bells and the Tillamook. We've got bacon, tortillas, a couple of crescent rolls. And then down here, we've got the rolls we picked up from the market today. Some leftover buffalo chicken dip. Got some leftover lentils still. And then all of our fruits and vegetables. The fresh fruits and vegetables that we have. So that's the fridge. Sparkling clean, it feels real good. I think you should go and tidy up your fridge too. Because every now and then it's just a good thing to do and it feels real nice. And we've got the kitchen mostly put back together. I mean, it is put back together. We are just getting ready to have dinner and tonight we're having leftovers. We have, still have some meatloaf and we've got some hamburgers and we've got some uh, french fries in the oven. But besides that, the kitchen is put back together. It's neat and tidy, shiny. And I've got this little table back here because Robbie brought it downstairs. He wanted to do his homeschool down here near me and Mr. Vinny last week, well, earlier this week. So that's why that is here. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video today. Got a little inspiration some way or another. If you would, please take a moment to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. 
I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. Thank you so much for adding a dash of gratitude to your day, and I'll see you on the next video.